today on Rappler. That means you're a failure. You're incompetent. Senator Miriam Santiago hits police officials for mishandling operations in Mama Sapano. Watchdog Group says media freedom declines drastically, partly because of extremist groups. And the Filipina nurse diagnosed with MERS is pregnant. Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is Rappler's Wrap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. Senator Miriam Santiago calls the January 25 operation in Mama Sapano, Maguindanao a failure and the ground commander incompetent. The hunt for top terrorist Marwan on January 25 ended in the deaths of 44 Special Action Force or SAF commandos. In a Senate hearing Thursday, Santiago pinpoints relieved SAF commander Hetulio Napeña. She calls the operation a, quote, failure from the very beginning. She says the police operative should have arrived when everyone was asleep and not during dawn prayers. There were intervening factors that happened along the way, Your Honor. That means you're a failure. You're incompetent. Because you cite intervening factors. When you make a plan, there should be no such factors. The plan should proceed very smoothly. But Santiago believes what happened was not entirely na Peña's fault. Ang timing niya, ang execution niya. At papakita ko maya maya, na hindi nagaling sa iyo lahat ng detalye na yon kaya hindi ka dapat you should not be blamed for the whole fiasco sama sama kayo lang. Santiago also berates resigned police chief Alan Purisima for in her words meddling in the operation despite his suspension Purisima downplays his role saying it was Napeñas who was in control you perform the functions of your office albeit in a surreptitious manner and then you say that you were not violating your period you what you the terms of your preventive suspension that is amphibole you're using words to confuse the person listening to you nakialam ka eh preventive preventively suspended ka masyado kang maraming kinakausap you were participating in none of your business at that time bakit ka salita ng salita bakit hindi ka nanahimik sa estate mo sa Nueva Ecija under preventive suspension ka eh nakikialam ka sa biro mo Apat na pong tao ang namatay at kasali ka doon. Kung hindi ka siguro nagkasali doon, baka buhay pa sila. Santiago mentions an alleged coup plot against President Benigno Aquino, which Defense Secretary Voltaire Gasmin confirms. But I have intelligence as of yesterday that leaders of certain alphabet soup acronyms who are familiar with the public had a recent meeting because they wanted to discuss how to stage a coup d'etat, who should be installed as president. We indeed report, uh, received those reports and we are still in the process of verifying and confirming all these reports. As far as coup But Malacanang downplays the threats. Communication Secretary Sonny Coloma says the military can handle the situation. The Vatican also reacts to statements made during the hearings this week on the Mama Sapano clash. Vatican spokesman Father Federico Lombardi discredits Napeñas' claim. Marwan tried to assassinate Pope Francis during his visit last January, calling the claim unfounded. Thursday's Senate hearing was highly anticipated. Aside from the rare appearance of Senator Santiago because of health issues, Moro Islamic Liberation Front or MILF chief negotiator Mohager Iqbal said he would attend Wednesday night. Iqbal reiterates the need to pursue peace, saying what happened was, in his words, an unfortunate encounter. Let me speak straight from my heart. First, the encounter between the MILF <clears throat> and the SAF, as I said, was an unfortunate encounter. It was something that nobody planned or wanted. We thought that we had effective protocols and mechanisms in place that would prevent things like this from happening. The MILF is against all forms of terrorism. We have made a solemn vow to fight terrorism in our areas. 
Terrorism is inconsistent with Islam and has no place in the orientation and principles of the MILA. Um, Senator Nancy Binay took another line of questioning. She wanted to know who informed President Aquino about the crisis in Mama Sapano. No one answers until Senator Grace Poe asks Purisima. So who among you informed the president? Wala pa din ho. General Purisima, you never informed the president or even reported to him the progression of events in Mama Sapano. Your Honor, may I be uh, given time to uh, seek clearance with the president to uh, answer your question, Your Honor. The Thursday hearing is the fourth this week. Two Senate hearings were conducted Monday and Tuesday, while a third was held at the House of Representatives Wednesday. Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao, or ARMM Governor Mujib Hataman, gets emotional as Senator Alan Cayetano calls the MILF a terrorist organization. Sa totoo lang, pagbasahin nyo lahat ng social media. Pag merong magsalita against the Bank Samoro, lahat ng laman ng social media, Parang ang kasalanan na to ay kasalanan ng buong mamamayang moro. Senator Bongbong Marcos says if both the Senate and the House were to vote, the Bangsamora Basic Law might be the next casualty in the Mama Sapano clash. He adds, I don't know about dying, but it is in a coma. Acting Health Secretary Janet Garin says the Filipino nurse diagnosed with MERS is four to five weeks pregnant. Garin says the child cannot get infected, but the mother's condition might affect the child's survival. The patient no longer has a fever and is in stable condition. Authorities found 63 of the 225 passengers from the same flight that brought the patient to Manila. Mayor Nelson Garcia of Dumanjug Town in Cebu says whale sharks and dolphins are pests and are responsible for fish shortage in their area. He also says he wants to kill them. At an environmental summit, the town mayor notes how whale sharks and dolphins eat two tons of fish a day. When asked if he knew that killing whale sharks and dolphins is a crime under national and local laws, Garcia quotes the Bible. He says, God said, man has dominion over the ocean. A watchdog group says there's a dramatic decline in press freedom worldwide. In its 2015 World Press Freedom Index, Reporters Without Borders says there, are, there were 3,719 violations of freedom of information in 180 countries, 8% more than a year earlier. The Paris-based watchdog group says there's been an overall deterioration linked to very different factors with information wars and action by non-state groups acting like news despots. ISIS or the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, the Boko Haram in northern Nigeria and Cameroon, and criminal organizations in Italy and Latin America all used fear and reprisals to silence journalists and bloggers. Iran, China, Syria, and North Korea are among the countries with the worst levels of press freedom out of the 180 evaluated. In South Korea, former Korean Air executive and heiress Cho Hyun Ah is found guilty of breaking aviation safety law for her now famous nut rage. Cho verbally abused and physically assaulted a steward, then forced the soul-bound plane to return to the gate. The reason? She was served macadamia nuts she had not asked for and in a bag, not a bowl. Cho is jailed for one year, avoiding a possible maximum sentence of 10 years. Cho is seen as a spoiled and arrogant offspring of family-run giant conglomerates that dominate the South Korean economy. And still in South Korea, at least two people are killed and 43 injured Wednesday in a 100-vehicle pileup on the highway to Incheon International Airport. The multiple collision occurred in heavy fog. For those on desktop, click on the links on your screen. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. And for those on smartphones and tablets, the links can be found below the video. Rappler has a patented user engagement model which puts a mood meter on every story. That mood meter gives you eight emotions which you can choose from. If you take a look at the Mood Navigator in today's front page, you can see the story that's gotten the most number of votes is this one, the Senate hearing, the live stream as it happened, Senate hearing on the PNP-SAF Mama Sapano Clash Day 3. 
a whopping 81% angry. Bringing out the mood of the day, it is a very red day. Today, most people are angry. That is the wrap for today, Thursday, February 12, 2015. Visit Rapper.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, Tech Rap and Rapper Talk. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Maria Ressa. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.